Morning, how they do? How you do? Bonjour, buenos dias, como esta? Hope everybody alright today, everybody good? Alright. So today we are back on the whole idea of planting our fruit trees. Now this is turning out to be a vlog which I had not intended it to, but um, I guess it's not a bad idea to let you follow along and see what I sort of do on a daily basis now today i am going to actually dig the holes for the fruit trees because it's early in the morning and we want to get this done before the heat of the sun begins to blaze and it becomes impossible to work outside so today we are going to attack the holes that we cleared yesterday oh yes i did clear the sections after i put in the flags and the markers and I did clear most of them yesterday so I'll show you what I did then and um, I'll also show you my implements which are very very simple and very very basic fork hoe machete now as you can see this is a well-worn implement the handle is coming off and as we do in Jamaica you just get some wire wrap around the handle top and bottom to prevent it from splitting because it has split so we prevent it from coming off and uh, then you wrap a little bit of tape around it I mean it is a farm implement it does not have to be pretty it simply has to be functional yeah that is functional again the whole and the fork and that's all you really need so I cleared around the areas yesterday that I am going to plant as you can see there they have been marked each one has been marked each section has been marked and they were cleared yesterday and I am going to then fork the holes because they have to be nicely dug and uh, any sort of stones or anything inside of it removed and so on. Um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to pack a little bit of grass into the hole before I plant the the um, the fruit trees just to get get it a little bit softer than it normally would be. And also, um, there's one thing that I that I I would recommend also. We have a lot of rotted woods around the place because um, you know it's a uh, as you can see it's lots of hills and so on and when trees fall over nature takes its course and they tend to rot um, they are very absorbent when the, when the wood is rot rotted and um, you can take some of that rotted wood and put it in the hole as well uh, what that will do is absorb as much water as possible and retain the water in the hole so it will it will retain moisture in the hole so anyone who has rotted wood and maybe a little bit of uh, dried grass you can not much dried grass but a little bit to provide softness um, that you can put in the hole as you are planting your fruit trees so we are going to get to it
that it's about a foot and a half deep, maybe 20 inches. That's what you really need. Now, as you can clearly see, this wood is really, really soft. And excuse the breeze. Welcome to the country area. So the wood is really really soft. It's totally rocky and it will retain moisture. And so we're going to put a little bit of this. As you can see it crumbles in your hand. It crumbles in your hand as you do it. Very very soft. It's going to retain a lot of moisture. And we put a little bit of that in the bottom of the hole. Of course, rotted wood also has a lot of nutrients and so on because as you can see, lots of holes have been through it. So lots of critters have been through it. And you know how that works. They go through, they eat it and they excrete after it has gone through their digestive system and provides nutrients as well. So we're just gonna stick a little bit of this in the bottom of the hole. And that's about it. Now, on top of that, Okay. We are going to take a little bit of straw and we are going to stick that in the hole as well and that's all you really need. Now of course you need to thoroughly wet the hole before you before you put the plant in. So that's going to soak a little bit and that is going to provide more, a lot of moisture around in the surrounding area of the hole. So we wait until that dry uh, soaks in and then we are going to put the plant in and we are going to water it again. Okay, so our first plant is going to be cashew. Now, for those who don't know, cashew is actually a fruit. The nut that we all love so much that comes in those packages in Jamaica is pr pretty much just a byproduct. We actually eat the fruit. And as a kid, I never really liked the nut. We just ate the fruit and threw the nut out. So now you know, and this is going to be our first plant. So let us slip the bag here, remove the ch here, and we are going to.
and that ladies and gentlemen is how you plant a fruit tree as a general rule now basically everything that i've said holds true for pretty much anything you're going to plant or transplant especially if it's going to be a rooted plant something that has lots of roots and needs to get down into the ground really well so as you can see it looks quite healthy and by the way please do not forget to dispose of these properly they are a hazard to the environment so we have a special place that we put these okay so that's about it and there is our first fruit tree and this one as i said is a cashew so let's just stick it here just to remind us what it was so again guys Thank you for coming on the journey with me. Hope everybody is alright. Make sure that you have fruit up on the place. You have make the place fruitful. Plant up enough flowers to make it pretty. And, well, you know, you don't have to go out and buy a whole heap of fruit and all of them things there. All you have to do is just plant the fruit them on yourself. Look, they're not going to grow to the north tomorrow. They're not going to bear to the north tomorrow. They're going to bear like the next two years or a year from now. But hear what I always say about that now Because some people always say, look here They don't nah plant nothing right now because it doesn't nah grow right now rare, 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 And all those things Well, hear what I say about that Unless you plan not to be around in another couple of years You might as well just plant something right now Okay? So again guys, thanks for watching Glad you could come along with me on this uh, impromptu vlog And as usual Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And as usual, you all have a great day.